Okay, here we're going to explore uh, aeroponics, which is a form of hydroponics. Uh, while it can take on many forms, I think utilizing the EasyClone cloning system is a great example of aeroponics, uh, because this is a true form and it is used for the cloning process, but this same form can be used to grow uh, plants for longer term than just cloning. Now, aeroponics system offers the highest performance possible. Think of the easy clean setup where we have a water reservoir here. We have a water pump going to a spray bar, creating this uh, jets of water that come out and fall down back in the reservoir and kind of recirculate through. As a result, there's no growing media used at all. The plants are simply supported by this foam here, and in the cloning operation, there's no roots initially. And the roots will be allowed to form here through the constant uh, spraying of water and also allow some form of aeration of that area as well. You can see uh, here's some recent clones on the left and some older clones on the right. Sometimes, because this is a cloning operation with no roots, they will start to yellow a little bit, but oftentimes once they start to develop roots, they will start to green back up again. Now, roots are suspended in a dark grow chamber, and that's down in here, uh, inside this uh, easy clone. And there's a nutrient solution constantly being sprayed uh, to create a continual spray of that nutrient solution on those uh, newly developing roots. Air is also present to allow the roots to breathe. So this is why this can become a very efficient system here. Uh, the downfall is that the root's growth can limit its ability to spray to come into contact with the growing roots. What does that mean? Well, as those roots become denser and clumped together, when there's initially just kind of one or two, there's a lot of area. However, as those become denser and start to grow, one can kind of reduce the spray contact of the other roots. Another downfall is if the pump fails, the entire system can be lost, so you are dependent on that um, water pump there. Always good to keep it in an area where you can constantly hear it, uh, or always check on it uh, multiple times during the day if possible, so if it was to go out, you could catch that immediately uh, and not risk losing all of your plants growing under this aeroponic system. Now, it's a beneficial system for cloning, as we see here, the clones also have a water monitor here, keeping uh, and assessing the conditions, in addition to a uh, ceramic metal halide light. Now, this is great for cloning, but often full season growth is not recommended, especially for large scale production facilities. Also, this system is dependent on electricity 100% of the time, so that also needs to be taken into consideration, so that we're not having any sort of pump failures, leading to the entire loss of the crop.